you're welcome to focus technical aspects today we are going to see coding method especially Myrpar how to code with Myrpar selection of Myrpar the process method Myrbar. The most common method for producing packaging tape or adhesive tapes with waterborne pressure sensitive. The great equalizer. A century of evolution has gone into waterborne coating roads still called Meyer Roads after Charles W. Meyer. Freedom with wire. They continue to be popular 100 years later because they are inexpensive, accurate, and easy to use. Meyer named them equalizer. They also are called metering rods coating rods, application bars, and even my rods. Meyer applied for his first patent in 1904 when he was 32. He developed the first successful coating machine, which applied liquid or powder material to a moving web of paper. He formed Meyer Coating Machine Company in Roaster, New York, which incorporated in 1905. His machine was an immediate success. Meyer particularly was proud of his equalizer bars, the key element in his coating system. These rods could spread coating material accurately and evenly across the entire width of web. In one pattern he wrote, I consider the wire bond equalizer to be a very valuable and important feature of the invention. The first metering rod were made of crude material in an age when most metal working was done in a blacksmith's shop, rods were made of carbon steel bars wound with piano wire. The wire sometimes was wrapped unevenly on the core rod and would break during use. Early rods were inconsistent and unpredictable. Some had space between the wire and they could rust. In spite of these problems, rod coating was an important was an improvement over the brushes and rollers used at the time. And the basic theory behind wire on rods was sound. Users found chrome plating could control rust and also offered a hard shell over the wire that would wear longer than the piano wire used at the time. This advanced level of coating was a breakthrough. For the first time, makers of wax and carbon paper could manufacture in production quantities. Coating thickness could be changed by switching rods. Converters began ordering rods with different wire size. Meyer found a growing market for replacement rods, which became more profitable as more coating machines were shipped. 
Meyer's success in the coating machine industry attracted competition. Other processes were introduced, which could cut into his machine business. However, every Meyer machine required new rods as old ones wore out, and many competitive machines used these wire worn rods. As his machine orders declined, the market for rod continued to expand. In 1970s, the industry became more diversified in coating and web material. Metering rod manufacturers standardized on precision stainless steel core rods and wire with closer tolerances and smoother finishes and made them on high speed winding machine. Wire rods became precision too. Coating thickness could be controlled within one tenth of a mill, that is 0 0.0001 inch. Spring tempered wire offered longer rod life. Coaters could select rods for a wide range of coating weights. Double and triple bound mar rods produce heavy weight coating at a single pass. Rods coated with Teflon, hard nickel, and titanium nitride prolong rod life and eliminated quality problem. Heated rods allowed hot melt adhesives to be coated at production speed. Manual and motor driven rod on machines were introduced for the laboratory in the 1980s and 1990s. These use wire rod rods and allowed scientists and technicians to make accurate coated samples for evaluation and study. With modern trends towards shorter production terms and customer demands for higher levels of quality, mar bars continue to be popular. Bottom line elect economic encourage converters to consider rods as an alternative to other coating methods. Some have added rod stations to existing machines to take advantage of the flexibility, ease of use, and the dollar saving associated with the wire path. It has been 100 years since the first rods were made. They continue to meet the increased demand of the converting industry in the 21st century also. Meyer rod coating. One of the most popular coating methods, the Meyer, bar, the Meyer rod is a stainless steel rod that is worn tightly with stainless steel wire of varying diameter. The rod is used to doctor the excess coating solution and control the coating weight. The wet thickness after doctoring is controlled by the diameter of the wire used to wind the roll with approximately 0.1 times the wire diameter. Rods are available in a wide variety of wire sizes to give a range of coating widths. The table below gives the wire size that are available and the wet thickness that can be achieved the dry thickness is determined by the solids concentration of the coating. The wire worn meter rod, known as Meyer rod, allows the desired 
quantity of coating to remain on the substrate. The quality is determined by the diameter of the wire used on the road. This process is remarkably tolerant of non-precision engineering of the other components of the coating machine. My rod coater in this coating method, an applicator rule delivers adhesive to the substrate being coated. The applicator rule between either with or against the primary whip, delivering an excess of adhesive. Wire rod are often used to remove the excess. The rods may also run in either direction. The amount of adhesive removed depends upon the diameter of the wire which is wound around the steel rod. Coating weight is increased by simply switching to a rod wrapped with larger diameter wire. Two rods in series often give better coating results than a single rod. The first rod has a larger diameter wire and removes most of the excess adhesive. The second rod with a smaller diameter wire smooths the coating and produces the final desired coating weight. My rod coating can deliver a broad range of coat weight. The market for wire mount rod has grown rapidly during the past few decades because they provide predictable, accurate coating time after time at a minimal cost. Although the technology goes back almost a century, today's high quality materials, multi wire designs, and special wire surfaces have made this system more popular than even before. Rods give users the ability to fine tune coating thickness quickly and easily without altering the chemistry of their coating material and without time consuming and expensive change. Wire wound rods were first used in coating machine built by Charles Marr in the 1900s to manufacture wax paper and carbon paper. They are also called as Marr bars by many coaters. Wet coating thickness can be accurately predicted within one tenth of a mil, that is. 0.0001 inch. Rod selection table allows coaters to consider coat weight and percentage of solid in the choosing the proper rod size for each production run. Bottom line profits have encouraged many coaters to modify existing machines in order to take advantage of the flexibility, the ease of use, and the dollar saving associated with the rod. The diagram. This is how the marble looks like. This is the main stainless steel bar wound with wire in spiral form. This is how it looks. Another picture of Marva. This is another picture of one of the more common method of coating is my rod coater, sometimes called as metering rod coater. The equipment has advantages such as low capital cost ease of coat weight adjustment, ease of operation, 
and a broad range of coat weight are possible. This is another picture of Myrabar coating. How it works? Single wire bound rod. This is how the coating is applied. And on the left hand side, the right hand side uh, at the bottom, you can see the actual coating pattern on the web. And after drying, you get a smooth coating of required thickness on the coated web, which is shown in yellow color. How it works? for double wire bond rod. This is how the double bond wire bar looks like in the quick draw one. This is how the coating is applied to the substrate. The yellow color designates the web On the right hand side bottom picture, you can see this is the pattern of the coating width. You can imagine that the coating width is very much on the higher side as compared to single bond. And this is how it looks after the coating is dried. This is a diagram showing the difference between single wire rod and double wire rod. Illustration of the relationship between need and area on comparable length of size 10 double wrap and single wrap wire rod. more example on how it works. This is a comparison between size 10 rule form and wire bond rods. New rods, the gray area shows according to the meter. The one rod, the strap area shows reduction in coating due to grade wear or filter. One grade reduces metering amount. Clogged areas reduce the metering amount. wire drawn rods where heavier coating are required manufacturers provide special drawdown rods with two wires a standard single wire rod is over bond with a smaller wire which follows the spiral of the base wire this is how it looks. The result is a modified groove between the wires that will produce wet weight up to 90 mils or 0.019 inch thick. Try wire drawn down rods. Free rod technology developed by for coating up to 56 microns, that is 0.56 inches thick, can be produced using three standard wire bone in unique configuration. This is how it looks like. Two wires are bound 
side by side on a core road. Then a third wire followed one spiral of the base wire. The resulting groove will maximize the area between the wires, producing a coating more than six times the thickness produced by a single wire rod. This is a table of metering rod application chart uh, based on rod number. You can find the thickness in mils, you can find the thickness in microns, you can find the coverage that is feet per gallon or grams per liter, square meters per length and pounds per thousand feet square or grams per thousand square meter and you can find the coating weight in grams per square meter. You can find that right from bar number zero to bar number 100, you can have a wide choice of coating weight. A variety of options. Marbar, a most common coating method, First one is Marbar, second one is Gravier plus Marbar, and the third one is Kiss Coating plus Coating options with Marbar, you will find the number of options with Marbar coating, such as single bar, double bar, supported Marbar, double bar with both side coating at a time. The coating pan is filled with a desired liquid. The kiss rule is prepared to move anti-clockwise, that is against the whip movement and direction. The picton coating is then metered by the marbar. Single marbar most commonly used. It works like in the illustration given figure one, double marble rod. There are two marbles, you can see that in the picture. Marble rod with backup rod. This is how it looks like. Two-sided coating. You can see that non-pressure sensitive adages can be coated with this kind of arrangement where the metering or the coating is done on both sides and how the metering is done. Sure code coating head. This is an innovative concept and the coating can be controlled precisely with minimum amount of wastage. Here the coating pan is a closed one type. It applies exactly the required quantity onto the web and it is further metered with help of a marbar. In this case, the change overs are faster and easy. The marbar adjustment is also a lot more simple and Marbar holders. It is advised to provide a support or backup support for the marbar to have near to perfect coding results. There are some options to choose a method. The drive. It is advisable to provide a separate drive to marbar. It helps a smoother coding with minimum clogging of particles in the coating. This is how you can have a supporting element either as shown on the left side or on the right side on the top figure. Options Wire wand, plain rod, 
polishing road you can see the difference in the two in the first one the wire is closely pulled in the second one it is gapped this is how the double wire coating illustration looks like formed wire is something like this formed coating bar is nothing but turning on the surface with a precise tool. Frequently asked questions about Marbar coating. What are the benefits of Marbar coating? Rod coating provides excellent accuracy and uniformity through a wide range of sweeps at a low coat that is simple to set up and change up. My rod coating has been and still is in the top three most popular coating method. Should the rod be driven? Yes, rotating the rod will provide or prevent uneven wear. Rotating the rod will also present a relatively clean rod surface to the surface. Which direction should the rod rotate? Normally, the rod rotates against the web. However, rotating the rod with the web may result in a better finish for some coating. And generally, these coatings are non adhesive type. Should speed, what speed should the rod rotate? It's ideal between 25 to 50 RPM revolutions per minute is a good starting point. Rotate the rod faster to see if the coating finish improves. What is the best wrap angle? Every application is different, but most coaters operate with 5 to 15 degree of wrap. The most flexible coater will be able to adjust the wrap angle for different application. Should I reline the drive motor when changing wire sizes? Yes, if the size change is significant enough to prevent the rod from lying flat on the rod bed. Note that with a 60 degree V group rod bed any increase in diameter will cause an equal, an equal increase in rod height. What are the benefits of form rod? The U-shaped groove of a form rod cleans up easier than its wire-bound counterpart. Unlike wire-bound rods, the diameter of a form rod increases very little from a small groove size to a larger one. Form rods are generally less expensive at high volume. What is the film thickness difference for a wire wound versus formed rod? The cavity between the wire winding is a V shape while the form rod has a U shaped groove. Coating flows through the shapes differently, so the actual transfer rate depends largely on coating rheology. What effect does raw diameter have on coating thickness? Now, the coating thickness is determined by the wire or the groove size. What other factors should be considered when choosing the rod diameter? Since rods are generally made of solid stainless steel, the rod diameter will have a drastic effect on the rod price. The need for a rod holder depends upon rod diameter and several other factors. How does I choose the correct wire size. Use the size selection chart to find an approximate starting point. 
perform a test with that size in the lab, preferably, and measure the actual film thickness, use the actual transfer rate, wire size to film thickness to refine your size selection. Is there a minimum order amount? There is no minimum for wire bond rods. There is a 5 rod minimum per size for form rods or a SS $35 setup change. Per what is the standard lead time for custom coating rod? Our standard lead time is one to two weeks after receipt of order. We offer stocking program for higher volume users. If you need an order sooner, please contact us about Expedite. What causes lines in the coating that match the rod profile? The most common cause is a high viscosity coating that will not wet out, add a surfacent to the coating, or increase the time between coating and drying if possible. If not, consider an alternate rod type such as gap or double worn rod. Why do straights in coating appear randomly or in a repeated pattern. The rod is likely clogged with dried coating or some other contaminant. Make sure the coating is pumped through a fine in a filter. Rotate the rod also helps evacuate any particulate. The rod needs to be cleaned any time coating has been allowed to dry on it. What is the cause the rods to wear out prematurely? The life of the coating rod depends on the averageness of the coating and substrate. The hardness of the rod and how well it's maintained. Either the tops of the wire will wear down from abrasion or the grooves will clog up with coating. If the rod wear out, consider crew plating. If the rod clog up, consider an alternate rod type. Check the pressure between the rod and the backing roller if applicable. Why is it not the coating uniform across the web? Check the web tension across the rod if applicable. Ensure that the rod is aligned with the backing roll if applicable. Change the stiffness of the coating rod and replace if bent. Advantages of Marbar coating method. Offer a number of advantages to coaters and converters. Low capital and operating cost, fast changeovers for coating thickness adjustment, precise, consistent, uniform coating thickness control across even wide webs, simplicity. After a more predictable and uniform coating thickness over wide web compared to blade coater, longer wear due to utilization of the entire rod surface rather than constant metering at a single small stage, less accumulation of loose fibers and particles than on blade coated. A few more advantages. These metric rods are available in diameter from 3 16 inch to one one and a half inches. Larger rods can improve results sometimes as they provide a longer nib area. They also offer longer life as there is 
more broad surface over which no distributive wear over time. Disadvantages of this technique include limitation on coating viscosity, web spread and surface tension which is an important determinant of how rapidly the coating can leaven itself on the web. The film leveling process along with drying or curing speed and on increase of hydraulic forces between the web and the rod. Act together to establish an absolute speed limit for each coating process. On the other hand, large diameter rods are considerably more expensive as they are fabricated from solid steel. Rod holders which provide support to keep the rod from bowing are often used with smaller diameter metering rod. Precautions while using marbar coating method. The rod should rotate against the direction of the whip. This reduces wet film splitting. The rod should be mounted so the rotation direction tightens the wire and should be driven with a wave speed motor to allow optimization of the speed of rotation. Generally, a range of about 25 to 50 RPM will be appropriate for most applications, but the best speed should be determined practically. If you like it, please be sure to pin it. Please share it on Facebook. On WhatsApp, Instagram, G, Twitter, and on LinkedIn. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel. YouTube channel subscribe kara. You can reach us on our telephone. Or cell number you can reach us by dropping an email. You can reach us by visiting our website. You can write to us on our address. You can reach us on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Skype, and of course on YouTube. Namaskar. Bye bye, friends. Let's meet again with another workshop sooner. Arai Upasit Mitrano Bagadino Betu Yapuna. Lokarus and Kineka Karishai. Toparan. Bye bye. Namaskar. Asas Ru Asawa. Ivinanti. Thank you. Danyavad.